everyone, and welcome back to Ace Combo, bringing you another Terror Ray talk, and this time it's the Mighty Typhlosion coming at us next weekend. That's right, guys. They are not wasting any time. They're going right into the next Terror Raid battle. So it's going to be a ghost type. I had a good feeling it was going to be this guy coming up, and I was hoping it was going to be ghost type, which is very similar to Legends Arceus. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, let's go ahead and talk about Typhlosion in general. In general, it is known as the Volcano Pokemon, so that tells me right off the bat, it's gonna start with the move Eruption, and that's it. I think that's the only time you're gonna see Eruption is turn one, and after that, you're not gonna see it again. Now, as we look into its stats, its stats show a very, very high special attack. Next up is speed, and then, you know, mediocre kind of defense and special defense. So this gives us a good indication of what type of moves that we're more than likely gonna see, which are gonna be mostly special attacks. That does not mean we are not gonna see physical attacks off this Pokemon. It does get double kick. So first right off the bat, I was gonna say, hey, bring a, a, a T-Tar would be awesome to bring in on this. But since this get double kick, I really, and I get that that may not make a difference if you can lower its attack or increase your defense whatsoever. So there is a possibility T-Tar might make an appearance, but until we know its move pull, I'm not gonna throw that one out there just yet. I do think it's gonna have flash fire, obviously. That's usually the hidden ability it's gonna have, so don't bring in any fire attacks. And then you notice this weakness is gonna be, well, this weakness doesn't matter because it's gonna be ghost type. So like I said, it's gonna be weak to two things, dark types and ghost. So looking into its move pool, like I said, it gets Eruption. I think it's gonna use that turn one. I wouldn't be surprised if it uses anything else. Uh, it does get smoke screen, but I don't think we're gonna see that. I mean, it's a very good possibility, uh, but it does get also low kick. Low kick it does get as a TM. That was one thing that kind of got me. Brick break is another fighting type move. So like I said, it does get access to fighting type moves. It doesn't get Infernal Parade because this is that's for high Hisunian Typhlosion. Uh, I think we're definitely going to see uh, Flamethrower a lot. Uh, Inferno, maybe. Um, kind of like how the uh, Charizard raid went. I think we're going to see a combination of that. And so a little bit of some strategy built from there could actually be brought in. So I, as you can see, it's got a very big move pool. We're definitely going to see Shadow Ball. Uh, so Fire, Ghost, uh, and let's not leave off solar beam i think it's going to have solar beam as well it may not i think it's either going to have a fighting type move or the grass type move i don't think it'll have both it does get access to thunder punch as well so that does cause a little bit of problems and so some suggestions i'm going to bring in but we'll get into that a little bit later i do think it's going to throw out will-o-wisp i think you're going to have to worry about burns more than anything else so either bring special attacking pokemon or actually you know covert cloak to block the will-o-wisp like I said, some of the egg moves, sometimes it brings in extra sensory. I don't think we're probably gonna see that, but like I said, it does get double kick. And it also gets focus blast, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So one way or another, it's got a fighting type attack. I think it's gonna use more than anything else. So let's go ahead and talk about what I think it's gonna be brought in. I, like I said, I think it's gonna start turn one with eruption. I can't, I'm, I only have space for four boosts, but it's obviously gonna have more than four. Uh, but I think the main, once we're gonna see is flamethrower. I know we're gonna see shadow ball. Could see double kick or focus blast. Let's change that to focus blast actually. And solar beam. Because I think more than likely it's gonna have focus blast. I think that just gives a little bit more of a wow factor. But uh, I think it's mostly gonna be special attacking. So what is the strategy that we can use to take this guy out? Well, let's go right back into the good old days of Slowbro and his buddy Quillfish. I think this is definitely gonna be plausible to be brought in. Just make sure you swap your EV stats or your IV stats to special defense. You definitely, definitely want to invest your EVs into special defense. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I said IVs, I meant EVs. Uh, you really want that to be invested here so it has more survivability, but the moves are pretty much the same. Uh, bring Taunt if you want, you could bring Haze, but I, I'm gonna say Taunt. Uh, acid Spray, Acupressure, Chilling Water, very good support Pokemon. I think this is gonna really kind of uh, basically neuter the Typhlosion and keep it from doing what it wants to do. Um, especially with the acid spray. So instead of slow bro, this time bring in slow king. So you're gonna have the lead come in if you're in a group and you see the guy who's raid this is and he's starting it up and he brings in a slow king, do yourself a favor, bring in a quillfish. 
we'll all know what you're talking about if you start off with a slow king the reason why we say slow king over slow bro slow king has a higher special defense stat you could possibly use a slow bro but slow king is gonna definitely be useful on here i've already run the stats you start using amnesia right off the bat that typhlosion can't do anything to you already with this high of a defense a special defense investment it only knocks you to it can't do over 38 percent damage that's before the amnesia once you hit the amnesias and you start bringing them in the max amount of damage it could do to you is 10 percent just 10 percent so as soon as you can get them amnesias up you're going to be basically a wall that cannot be broken bringing in the slow king so this strategy i believe will definitely definitely work if you get a good group together i'm i'm definitely going to be going this route all right guys for those of you who are new to the strategy let me go over it really really fast okay so turn one uh the lead is bringing in the slow king he's going to amnesia up three times while the quillfish that just comes in they're going to acid spray so each one if you're going to have three you're going to acid spray once that's going to bring the typhlosion's special defense all the way down to negative six so then here we go for turns two through uh three you basically act or however actually you're gonna just acupressure right onto the slow king so whatever you do from there on out just acupressure on the slow king till the slow king's ready as soon as the slow king gets enough i think after even turn three or even four on turn four it just uses stored power and it's gonna knock out that typhlosion it's not going to be super effective but it's going to do a lot of damage if you're worried nasty plot up i guarantee you're going to do thousands and thousands amount of damage so it's just like the slow bro raise that we mentioned before and for those of you who don't know what acupressure does acupressure raises a random stat of user by two so it's always going to build up no matter what on that slow king Another support Pokemon I'm going to recommend bringing in, the, if you can remember the Doxman, if you want to bring in a Doxman, that'd be a very good one to bring in. Uh, I've talked about this one back, I believe, on the uh, Charizard raise that we had. You know, this is a classic support one. Snarl would be very, very useful, basically taking down the special attack of that Typhlosion to almost nothing, and it can't do anything for you. And not at all you could also bring in what i like to recommend is a grim snarl spirit break would be very very helpful it'll take down its special attack uh also build up some reflects and everything in there too so that is a possibility if you want to bring in a good support pokemon uh even chancy and blissey would be useful since it's mainly going to be using those special attacks assuming it doesn't have a fighting type attack though that's assuming it doesn't uh if it does have the fighting type attacks and it's trying to spam them the only one that i found that is assuming it doesn't have electric type attacks let's hope it doesn't uh that really would mess up the strategy here would be a gyarados this guy i really think i really wish it could be mega but uh unfortunately we don't have that so shell bell intimidates not really make much of a difference but this guy's going to be a good damage dealer if you just want to bring one in uh crunch taunt is very very useful rain dance in case it does have sunny day dragon dance i really wish it got swords dance but it only gets dragon dance and so that's something you can do it already has a very high special defense that's one reason why i am recommending gyarados if it however if typhlosion does have thunder punch uh or wild charge or something like that may not want to bring in the gyarados so i'm just i'm giving that as a caveat right now uh, another Pokemon to bring in then if it does have electric types and not fighting type attacks would be Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is a, or a uh, Hydreigon. Either one of these two would be useful to be brought in. I'm just giving Roaring Moon because it has a higher uh, stat damage or base stats. And I think also right off the bat, uh, you can just build it very, very bulky and go in with Crunch, Roost, Snarl, Taunt. It's There's a good combination. Hydreigon's got very more broad uh, special attack side. So guys, do me a favor. Let me know what your strategy is in the comments below. I am very, very curious. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and until next time.